Hey everybody, welcome to another day of resistance band training. Today we're going to do a couple of different exercises as promised, really focusing on those legs. Unfortunately, the legs are often forgotten when people are doing workouts, especially with weights or resistance bands, anything that really is building muscle. Everybody's so focused on the upper body, they really neglect the legs. And you see him walking around with these huge upper bodies and these little tiny pencil legs when you see the guys with the shorts on at the gym. Today what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we do focus on the whole body. We're going to make sure we get those legs involved. First exercise we're going to do is we're going to do a weighted lunge. Now with the resistance bands, what you're going to do is you're going to step on your band of course. You're going to hold at about slight angle, not quite 90 because I want you to get that upper body involved just a little bit. And you're going to just pulse up and down, really keeping that weight on the front keel. This is going to get you the optimum uh, target, the optimum resistance, and really get you the best results. Now, if you need a little more weight or a little more resistance, what you can do, you'll see I'm going to wrap the resistance bands around my hand a little bit, nice and loose, not cutting off circulation or anything, and do the same weighted lunge, keeping that weight in the front heel. Now again, as we talked about, you can do these for time, you can do these for reps, you can do 10 or 20 or 30 reps, or you can do it for a 30 second round. That's up to you. Of course, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I like to keep them wrapped, just for that little extra resistance, and just pulsing down and up, and again, very important, keeping that weight in the front heel. Now, after you do your set, what you're going to do, I'm going to face forward. We're now going to go into a little bit of a weighted squat. What I like to do, because I want a little more resistance, is I'm actually going to cross the resistance bands. All right, kind of making an X. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down. I'm going to hold the arm steady, just going down and back up. Going down and back up. And I'm going to turn to the side so you can see one thing, because I want to get that whole lower body involved. Down. When I come up, I'm actually going to push the hips forward just a little bit, squeezing the glutes, getting them involved too. Down and back up, squeeze the glutes. So I'm not just working the quads only, going down, back up, squeeze the glutes. Now last exercise you're going to do. It's so a little bit of a combo exercise. So I'm gonna have the hands starting down. I'm gonna do a nice kind of a deadlift squat. Down and up, squeezing the glutes. Rotate the wrists or the arms. I'm gonna do my squat and curl. And then come back down to that initial position. Notice I'm going nice and slow. Having resistance on the way up and the way down. Deadlift squat down and up. Rotate, curl squat down and up. I'm gonna to turn to the side one more time so you can see something. Deadlift squat, I'm not hunching over. Back is nice and straight, head is up, down. Okay, nice flat back and up. Rotate, curl squat down and up. Same thing as always. We could do these for the resistance. I'm sorry, we could do this for time or we can do these for reps, just as long as you're creating that resistance on the way down and on the way up. So there you go guys, a couple of lower body exercises for you. As always, all I ask, comment below, let me know how you like these, give me some feedback. I'll see you tomorrow with a nice burnout video.